Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to plan a perfect Instagram feed. When someone comes across your Instagram feed, the aesthetics of your Instagram is the very first impression that they see. Because it is so saturated on Instagram today, having an aesthetic Instagram feed can really give you an advantage into increasing your follower growth. The first step is to choose two to three physical elements that represents your brand. There are kind of three basic categories that you want to focus on. There's clothing, props, and location. For example, if we are talking about a fitness coach, the type of clothing that they want to be wearing in the posts are gym outfits. So sports bras, gym leggings, um, runners, and the props that the fitness coach might use in the posts are dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, or any kind of weights. Lastly, the location of the fitness coach would work well in the gym, or maybe it's an outdoor workout or beach workout, or maybe it's a home workout. So you want to be choosing one or two physical elements within those three categories. Um, any more than that, it can kind of get confusing. And you want to make sure that you have a really well-defined niche anyways. So let's say you are a fitness coach for uh, mothers who work out at home. So the location would obviously be um, your home and you wouldn't really want to be posting workouts in the gym. Now that we talked about the physical elements, let's talk about the colors. So the second step would be to choose two to three complementary colors. If you don't know what complementary colors are, you can easily Google search the color wheel or I'll pop it up right here. And the colors that are on the opposite ends of each other are the complementary colors. So for example, green goes really well with red. So again, you only want to stick to two to three complementary colors. Any more than that, it can kind of get um, too messy on your feed and it won't really look like you have an aesthetic feed. The easiest way to do this is to find a neutral colored background. So for example, if you take a look at my Instagram profile, I like to wear a lot of bright colors and sometimes it's really hard to fit them in together. Um, but the reason why they fit well together is because I always choose a neutral background. So I like to stick with white. And you'll notice that there's rarely any trees, bushes, or grass in my photos. And that's because trees and grass can look really messy on the Instagram feed. There's just too much texture going on and later on in this video, I'll go into more detail about what I mean when I say textures. You also don't need a full white background. A lot of times there are a lot of like dirty walls in public or gray walls in public. And so a trick that you can do is to use the Facetune app or the Lightroom app. And especially with Facetune, you can use the whitening tool and you can easily whiten the background. A very easy way to keep the colors consistent and make them very cohesive is to use Lightroom presets. And I've talked about this many times before, but Lightroom presets are basically like filters that you can make your own and then you can save them. And then when you are editing a photo and you click on the preset, all the edits that you've made and saved into the preset will be applied in that photo with one click. So this is the easiest way to make an aesthetic Instagram feed if you're struggling. I wanna show you the before and after of two Instagram feeds. This one doesn't have the Lightroom presets applied and this one does. So this one looks really cohesive and they're the exact same photos, but except this one is edited with the Lightroom presets on each photo. And it took literally two minutes to edit all those photos because it only takes one click in Lightroom to apply all the edits to one photo. I do have presets for sale for less than a dollar each. Everyone else sells them for at least $30, but I want you guys to get a chance to check them out and try them for yourselves. So if you're interested in that, um, click over here or in the description box to get your hands on my less than a dollar presets. And it comes with 11 different presets that you can use. The next step to creating an aesthetic Instagram feed is to plan your photos before you post. There are several apps you can use to plan your Instagram feed before you post onto your actual Instagram account. Some of the apps that I have used are the Later app, Unim, and Planoly. This video is not sponsored in any way, but I'm just letting you know the apps that I have used in the past. Um, lately, I've only been using Unim, um, but I think a lot of people prefer Planoly and the Later app because those are compatible with the desktop. Um, I don't really like to plan on the desktop, I like to plan on my mobile phone, so the Unim app is perfect for me. The Unim app is also free and there's also a paid version, but I've only been using the free version um, the entire time that I've used Instagram. I believe Planoly and the Later app are also free and then there's the option to upgrade, um, but both those free versions I believe are pretty good for for, um, planning out your aesthetic Instagram feed. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how to use the Unum app to plan your Instagram feed. So this is what the Unum app looks like. In order to add a photo from your camera roll to this app, all you have to do is click a blank square and then click the plus sign icon at the bottom. And then your camera roll will pop up and then you can select one of your photos. Then you can drag and drop your photos to rearrange them in the specific order that you want. 
Now I wanna talk about some of the things that you need to keep in mind when you're planning your aesthetic Instagram feed. You can definitely change your Instagram aesthetic. Um, if you're like me and you get bored really easily, you can totally tell by my account. I've definitely changed my aesthetic um, many, many times. But I don't recommend changing it less than every 12 photos because 12 photos are what covers the whole Instagram feed when you're looking at someone's profile. If you change your theme less than every 12 photos, it might not be as obvious what your Instagram theme is. Another thing you want to consider is lighting. The lighting can really set the tone for the Instagram aesthetic. Bright and airy photos can represent happiness and there are also a lot of darker moody tones that you can also use. I talked about this briefly before but textures is also something that you can play around with. There are flowy textures like water and silk or there's the industrial concrete walls. The next thing I wanna talk about is the distance between the camera and the subject. You should try to keep the distance consistent because if you notice that if you post a lot of photos up close and then you post a photo that's really far away, um, your engagement might drop because when someone is scrolling on a feed and they don't recognize that it's a photo coming from you, they're less likely going to engage with it. Personally, the photos that are up close and shows only three quarters of my body perform a lot better than um, photos that are far away and show my full body or more of the scenery. But I know for other accounts, it's the exact opposite. So you have to do what works best for your account. It also kind of depends on which niche you're in. For example, if you're in the travel niche, um, a lot of times people want to see the view more than the subject. If you're in the fashion niche, for example, a lot of times people want to see the details of the outfit. So they like to see things that are up close. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments below. I replied to every single comment. And if you would like to see more Instagram tips or business tips, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel or follow me on Instagram at Kawang, where I post Instagram tips on my stories and in my captions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when the next video comes out.